um, I've not woken up yet. Oh, head in the clouds, that's you all over. You nearly put yourself in an early grave. Ooh. Is that what it's come to? You rummaging through the bins? There's a bottle in here with two prints on it. I reckon the Manchester Big Cat did it. The what? That's why I've taken the day off. Me, Daniel and Ty are going to try and spot it. Take some photos. Fine. Yeah, come on, you'll soon get stuck in. Good morning, all. I don't know about you a lot, but I feel a bit... <coughs> ..starting my new job. You and me are homies. I've got Tommy, eh? Hey, if it gets too much for you, you can always play on the iPad, like Brian said. Uh, hopefully you won't be seeking out anything uh, too violent, games-wise. No carnage, no guns, no profanities, mother flipping this and that. Preferably something about um, animals on an adventure who learn the value of kindness. Come on. <laughs> Boo! Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to do kill me or what? Sorry. Well, are you ready for Operation Out the Blackmailer? <sighs> ready as I'll ever be. Mm. Ryan's been arrested. For what? Well, the police found drugs on him. I'm pretty sure that Cormac put him there. Right. And. <sighs> They've also found out that his alibi doesn't quite stand up. He wasn't with Sophie for as long as he said he was when Cormac died. Why would he lie? I was under the impression Cormac's death was an accident. Yeah, it was, totally. But? But some things happened that night which made Ryan look guilty, which he wasn't, but we lied to protect him from Ronan. I think you should stop there, Michelle. It's best you don't tell me anymore. Hang on a minute. You're the one who palmed Cormac off on me in the first place. You owe me. You know Ronan and I got history. Last time I crossed them, I ended up in hospital. <sighs> Look, I know Ronan's a gangster, but surely even he can't be above the law. He's extremely dangerous. I'm afraid Ryan's crossed the wrong man. <sighs> oh, I've got a list as long as my arm. I just don't know where to start, Mary. Well, you could start by handing it to me. I'll finesse your wedding for you, Tracy. Never fear. Do you know, you are a diamond. I don't know how I would have coped the last few weeks without you. Well, I'll just get my Basildon Bond notepad, my purple pen and highlighter, and all systems are go. <laughs> oh. oh, you look a bit. Is anything all right? No, not really. Ryan's been arrested and Adam's just refused to represent him, so... Well, uh, I can help. If you don't mind talking it through with me. Well, it involves Ronan Truman, so I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted nothing to do with it. If I ran away every time I was up against the wrong end, I'd be bankrupt. Shall we? Da -da. Now then. <laughs> I could really see you in this. Perfect little number for a wedding. I don't know why designers don't put purple and yellow together more often. You don't have something a bit more low key. Huh. Catch yourself on low key, have you met Elizabeth? Are you cheeky beggar? <laughs> you told her the good news. Well, does the money come through? Uh, no. Sorry, Elizabeth, I shouldn't have asked. No, that's... no, it's okay. I had meant to say. Yeah, they uh ten thousand should be with you in a couple of days. And in a week or so. I should be able to free up a bit more cash. <laughs> so, there's more good news? Steve has asked Jim to be a best man. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers, cheers. I am over the moon. This whole wedding is going to be a proper family affair. Except Andy, of course. He's boycotting it, as usual. He can't stand Tracy. Well, I'm sure he's not the only one. Mm. Ah. Now, I have got a gorgeous fuchsia top, like a mutton sleeves. What? Uh, you know, style-wise, a bit on the historical side. Wrote it out. Oi, oi, wise up. What would Elizabeth think if she saw us? It would blow her tiny little mind. Johnny, 
Checking it's all still on? No, I can't find that top. But I have found this gorgeous coral number. <laughs> now that is you. I don't know. Hey, at this rate, you're going to be wearing a bin bag? I'll figure something out. Hey, I meant to ask. How do you fancy lunch at Speed Dial today? My treat. Oh, hey, that'd be lovely. I'm supposed to be at work. I can't be running around doing errands all day. Abby, please. I feel like this wedding's doomed already. Look, I'll do most of the donkey work. I just need you to be my adjutant. Your what? Oh, perhaps that's too old school. Think of it more like a collab, but basically I'm in charge. Come again? Collab? Collaboration? Well, basically, we're Shaggy and Sting. I'm Shaggy. Have you seen Leanne? Leanne? You know, scrawny cow, mother of your boy, brat. Why would I want to see Leanne? Because I told you to, Steve. She was supposed to bring Oliver around an hour ago so I could try on his kilt. You still here? Yeah, come on, Steve. Hop, hop, hop. Show some action. Come on. Hey, Leanne better not let me down. I mean, Simon's gone on a school trip. Peter's bogged off to Portsmouth. Amy's laid up. This wedding is promising to be the biggest non-event ever. <sighs> Come on, lads and lassies. Shake a leg, grow big and strong for Daddy. Oh. Good for you. What? With your clutch bag. It's not mine. Well, it's not like the old days. I mean, everyone's gender fluid now. Anything goes. Good to know. Well, I shall have to love you and leave you. Oh, why does time fly when you're on your lunch? You don't think Zim, do you? The blackmailer? Oh, I doubt it. Mind you, it could be anybody. Come on, stash that bag. Hurry up. Oh. Right, now all we need to do is sit and wait. And as soon as they come for the cash, I can take some photos. Well, for what? Someone carrying a clutch bag on the front page. Do you want Jenny to find out about you and Liz or not? No. Right, well, if you've got any better ideas, feel free to pipe up, Johnny. I don't like this. It's got cock up written all over Listen, it. Listen, we'll nail them, all right? Trust me. Go on. I'm not sure we've brought enough grub. Do you know what? I was thinking the same. I don't want to be getting hungry. You know, we're only going for a couple of hours, not weeks, right? Are you going on a picnic? I love eating al fresco. I don't. Get some of your teeth. No, we're hunting the Manchester big cat. There was a sighting on Balaclava Terrace yesterday, and the bins outside the kebab shop have been knocked over. Some have been rooting through them. Oh, my friend Shirley has a big cat that's the image of Stalin. <laughs> wow. Does he wear a uniform? All right, maybe we should go. Uh, yeah, me too. Back to work. Right, we'll go and get the camera and the binoculars. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, just a minute. I, I need to give you your personalised instructions. What for? Uh, your schedule for the big day, dress code, and also your schedule for the photo call. Any queries, bell me. This is mad. Everyone's going to be worried about putting a foot wrong. Your wedding is supposed to be about showing your other half how much you love them. Not poncing around, showing off to everyone else. This is ridiculous. Ryan's been arrested here. I need you to find out what you can, please. I'm worried sick. Kill the call, sir. We've got work to do. I've got to go. Bye. Hey, you know that woman in the red dress? I can't miss her. She's got a mouth like the Mersey Tunnel. Mm, well, I think she's robbed some toilet roll out. The ladies have seen one in the back before. How do you know it's one of ours? Well, I don't. I assumed. You know that when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. I might just do a citizen's arrest. <laughs> it is a shame our Steve couldn't come. But I am glad he sent Eileen as his first reserve. Mm, well, that's me. I've been sat on the subs bench for so long, I've got splinters in my backside. <laughs> Well, apparently he's still got stuff to do for the wedding. Mm, I'm glad I'm not going. It sounds like an absolute circus. Oh, Tracy's got him run right. Well, you better get used to it, because that's going to be his life from now on. He doesn't take after me. I wore the trousers in my marriage. 
You did not. I just let you think you did. I ran the whole shebang. This one don't even know what she's going to wear for the wedding. I'll chuck something together. Hey, when I were your age, oh, wow, I had these tan velour ski pants. Do you remember? I <laughs> certainly do. <laughs> he used to say to me, Elizabeth, your bum looks like two peaches in a bag, so it does. <laughs> Didn't you? Aye, aye. Right, well, I'm way to the wee boys, Chris. <laughs> don't need all that grub like it back now. Spotted anything yet? Nothing cat shaped. Are you just gonna video all day? Big cat might be sneaking around, not visible to the naked eye. I've not got a naked eye, I've got binoculars. Oh, yeah, and I'm zoomed in. <laughs> do you know what? I reckon we might have better luck at night. What do you think? Cats prefer the dark? I don't know. I'm a doggy person. Yeah, me too. I don't like cats. Like when you pick them up, they go all stretchy. I like up here, me, watching people going about the business. Think about finding myself a new hobby. What, sitting up a fire escape? Peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, everyone, come on. Come along, come along, come along quickly now. Everyone. It's all right, all right. Assemble away from the building. Please, please stand near this congregation point. Thank you. It's probably just a false alarm. We just want to be safe. Come along. Come along, come along. quickly. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. My feet are killing me already. These are my sitting shoes. They're not for standing in. Well, then you need to invest in some winter boots, one with flat soles. <laughs> Wash your mouth, then. Oh. Hey, so even her slippers have got a high heel, so they have. Well, yeah, but they're not exactly slippers, are they? They're more fluffy mules. Oh. All salam! Everyone back in again, please. Come on. said you with Sophie Webster at the time Cormac died. Why did you lie? It wasn't a lie. I just... exactly... I was confused. Confused? Everything happened so fast. Ryan, you changed your story. The only reason suspects do that is because they have something to hide. So what is it that you're hiding? You know the truth's gonna come out sooner or later, so... Yeah. When I got home, Cormac was in a right state. He was fitting and uh, I just panicked. And I called Ali because he's a doctor and I thought he'd know what to do. He told me to call an ambulance immediately, but I didn't. I waited for him. How long did he take to get there? Not long. I don't know. A minute. And when he came in, he took one look at Cormac and he told me to call an ambulance, so I did. And Ali tried to resuscitate him, but it was too late. Ryan solicited him and a beep said to see him. Right, fine, bring him in. Come in. <sighs> I'm Ryan, I'm coming. Uh, Michelle's had a word, asked me to represent you. Okay. For the tape, we're being joined by a solicitor. Imran Habib. And I'd like a moment to consult with my client. Right. Interview suspended, 1303. You'll be given a caution for possession of a banned substance. You're not completely off the hook. If we can prove that you supplied the drugs that killed Cormac Truman, then you'll be in very serious trouble indeed. You do know Michelle needs a car back as soon as possible. I'll do my best. Call us your best. Every time I've turned me back today, you've gone AWOL. Oh, sorry, Kevin. I had a couple of things I needed to sort out. Oh, well, uh, funnily enough, I've got a couple more for you right here. Uh, not now, Trace. You can see how I fix. Yeah, she's busy. Whatever it is, sort it out in your own time. 
Hey, you promised me that you'd come with me to visit Amy in hospital. I can't. You heard what the man said. Oh, don't worry about him. It's only Kevin. Uh, the bloke who pays me wages. I need this job, Trace. I'm sure you can spare half an hour for Amy. She's so fed up on her own. I'll do what I can. Michelle, all right? Yeah, fine. I hear your son's been arrested. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, you know, I mean, he should be home soon for something or nothing, so... That's good, I'm glad to hear it. Tell him I'll be waiting for him. Um, thank you for your patience. We shall be serving a cup of hot turmeric milk to warm your cockles. Tell me what? Milk? <laughs> You're not gonna have to spot, is it? <laughs> I just made mind of them milk puddings your mum used to make for you. Oh, oh, oh. As soon as Stephen clapped eyes on them, he said, You've heard they're booked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna see what else they've got to drink. I'll come with you. Did you get it? My bag, safe and sound. Mm, well, that's it then. Once the wedding's over, we're out of here. Try not to sound so disappointed. Oh. I'm having trouble keeping the dinner down. I didn't know you better and say you're still in love with that reprobate. I know. We're disastrous together. Doesn't stop me wanting him, though, does it? Please, Leanne, don't take Oliver out of the wedding. Tracy's head is about to explode. Do you really want to be the one that puts her over the edge? It's not going to be awkward for you at the wedding. Look, I know you regret it. I regret it as well. Which is why I'm going to pretend the flipping thing never happened. You should do the same, you know, fingers in ears, la 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 la. How long have you been stood there? Long enough. So we're going to practice this dance or what? Because Kev thinks I've only nipped out for a drive shaft. I'm sorry you had a bad day. Hi, how did it go? No one likes me anymore. Oh, of course they do. Don't be silly. So why won't they play with me? <sighs> what happened with the iPads? Come on, Jack. If you don't tell me what's happened, I can't do anything about it. We played for a bit. Mm -hmm. Then they went outside. We could see the other kids playing footy. What about Brian? I thought he was meant to be looking out for you. He's got a job to do. He can't sit with Jack all day. I'm still the same person, but everyone treats me different. I hate it. Oh, oh finally! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All these silly things on your head? Steve, I've told you this. We're having, like, a little mini hen do for Amy. Are you coming? No. Not a lady hen. I'm certainly not wearing one of them on my head. I'll go, man. Oh, sexy, Steve. Yeah, very nice suits you, sir. Kurt, did you not hear me shouting you? Oh, was that you? I thought it was just a voice in my head. What can I do you for? Steve, you can't let Amy down again. When have I ever let Amy down? Uh, excuse me? The night that she was rushed into hospital, I tried your phone like a hundred times. There was no sign of you. Well, I told you that was out of my control. The car broke down uh, to get Kev. Drinks are on the way. Mrs. Connor's paid. Ah, oh, lovely jubbly. <laughs> Commandant Tracy's list of wedding demands. My oh, selection is getting sick to death in it. You don't blame her. I feel like swerving it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, mate. She'll hunt you down, Tracy. You and Sinead will be next, though, wedding-wise. You got her planned? No, not really. Something smallish. Well, cheapish. <laughs> She's into retro stuff, isn't she? Yeah. Well, then you should get married in Norris's house. It's like walking back into the 1960s. <laughs> All right, it'd be cheap, I give you that, but I honestly couldn't think of anything more depressing. If me and Beth get married again, proper married, I get me adamant costume out of the mothballs. Nice. I feel like a totally different person when I've got it on, like some sort of sexy superhero. Oh, now you're just going to put me off my pine. Actually, no, you've got a point, Kirk. Why would we have a normal wedding when Sinead's the least conventional person that I know? Right. 
Let me get my hands on that money. Unbelievable. Johnny just made a big mistake. Listen, uh, maybe this is going to be more trouble than it's worth. What? Well, I mean, Elizabeth's going to get 10 grand for us. She said it would only be a couple of days. You might be ready to roll over, but I'm not. Since when have you been such a soft touch? Why don't we just cut our losses? If Johnny wants to keep his secret, it's going to cost him. Now he's messed us around, the price just went up. Oh, I take it your cunning plan didn't work out. They must have realised by now that we haven't paid up. I'm not going to be happy. Well, we haven't gone and poked a Rottweiler with a big stick. Well, luckily for you, I've got a plan B. I've been looking through Kirk's camera footage here. He sent it to my phone. Kirk? Where's he coming to all this? He was sitting on the fire escape. I'm not even going to ask. Look. Oh, no. It's Hannah. This is going to be gutted. And we're back on Carnation Street in half an hour.